Hi everyone, this is Phil from statisticsmentor.com. In this session, we're going to be looking a bit more deeper at multiple regression and interpretation of the coefficients. So, in the example here, I've got, continuing from a previous session, regressing yield on rainfall and temperature. Now, the interpretation of the rainfall here is that if the rainfall increases by one unit, being inches, then the model predicts that the yield will increase by 5.7 units units here for yield being bushels per acre but importantly also we say that it's holding temperature constant so say it again if rainfall increases by one inch the model predicts that the yield will increase because it's a positive sign by 5.7 bushels per acre holding temperature fixed and the interpretation of the coefficient of temperature is similar it's as follows now the units of temperature is in Fahrenheit if the temperature increases by one degree Fahrenheit the model predicts that yield will increase about two about three bushels per acre holding the rainfall fixed now I want to kind of dig a bit deeper into what it means to say holding blah 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 fixed all right. Well, let's do. Let's look at the temperature. So, about increasing one degree Fahrenheit, model predicts that yield will increase by about three bushels per acre, holding rainfall fixed. What does it mean by holding rainfall? F okay. This circle, well, this shape <laughs> represents the variability in my yield, my y. The variability of y explained by rainfall, say, is that much. And anything not explained is represented by this, the rest of the space here, which we're going to denote as res1. So I'm writing with a mouse. Likewise, if we have here the circle here representing temperature, the bit of temperature ex variation temperature explained by rainfall says that much. Say this is res 2. Then if we regress res 1 on res 2, that coefficient will be exactly the coefficient of regression of yield on both rainfall and temperature. So what it's saying to hold rainfall fixed is that you are taking account of taking out the rainfall's effect on Y and its effect on the other IVs, in this case only one IV. So that we're just looking at this bit and this bit, so we're regressing this on this now to isolate that effect we run three separate regressions then we regress y yield on rainfall and the residuals we save because there will be we'll look at use that that and then we run a second regression temperature on rainfall because the residuals will be the variation in temperature not explained by rainfall and then we regress like the bit of the y dv not explained by rainfall on the bit of the temperature not explained by rainfall and that will give me the coefficient this one so let's do it all right so I've regressed yield on rainfall call the R1 temperature on rainfall so this is the one IV on another IV and that's R2 if we plot the residuals resulting from one regression on another regression, we do it like so. This says plot from the regression so from the object called R1 in that object, this dollar sign, the residuals, so residuals of the regression R1, on the residuals of regression of R2, we get such a plot. So it looks like there's a positive correlation here. So if we regress this on this, we want to find 
let's find out what this slope is. We'll regress this on this to find the slope. So I'm regressing. Uh, I've got it the other way around. I'm regressing the residuals of what of the dv on rainfall on temperature after taking account of rainfall summary r3 okay look we see the coefficient on this is temperature after adjusting for rainfall 2.95 now doesn't that look familiar the answer is yes because look 2.95 in my multiple regression model. So now I've shown you how that is resulting, um, what it means to say holding rainfall fixed. Holding rainfall fixed would take out the rainfall's effect on temperature and on the dv and then run a simple a bivariate regression of the uh, the uh, dv taken account of rainfall on the temperature taken account of the rainfall. Finally, to finish, such a plot where we where we plot the residuals of the dv taken account of one of the ivs on another iv taken account on the thing that we're conditioning on here being rainfall this is called the added variable plot which some of you have heard about in your courses so the slope of that represents the coefficient in the multiple linear multiple regression model